In this video, we're gonna show you how to perform an oil and filter change on your Toyota Camry. With the vehicle raised up, you wanna locate the drain plug on the oil pan. It's a 14 millimeter. You can use a wrench, a socket, whatever you have. We're gonna go ahead and use our socket on our impact unit. Loosen that. Now you wanna go ahead and get your drain pan or catch can, whatever you have available, your drain bucket. Get that ready to go. And drain out your oil. Go ahead and grab a rag here and want to wipe this down. Clean the surface where the bolt is going to go. Now, if your drain plug has a washer on it, it's always best to go ahead and replace that washer as they are normally a one time use. I'm going to install our drain plug. Let's go ahead and tighten this down and we'll torque it into position. Go ahead and torque this to 29 foot pounds. Once you're done torquing it, you want to go ahead and give it a spray with some solvent and clean that up. With the hood open, let's go ahead and start by pulling your oil dipstick. Gonna wipe that. Set that aside. Now locate your oil filter on our vehicle. It's located right here underneath our exhaust manifold. Now in some cases, you can grab that oil filter and turn it counterclockwise to loosen it. Ours is a little bit tighter. So go ahead and use the appropriate tool to go ahead and loosen our filter. You know, in some cases, you'll have some residual oil in that filter. So go ahead and place some shop towels or rags underneath here to catch some of this here. You also might want to put a catch can underneath to catch any of this. Good, spin that off. Go ahead and grab a shop rag and wipe off the surface where the oil filter is going to be seated. Now we put a little bit of engine oil on our glove here and we've put some on our oil filter gasket. Let's go ahead and spin it on and that oil will help seat that gasket on there. Now oil filter should never be more than hand tight. Tight, but hand tight. Go ahead and reinstall your oil dipstick. Come on up to the top of your valve cover here and you're gonna locate your oil fill cap. Go ahead and spin that counterclockwise. Remove it. You want to go ahead and grab an appropriate funnel. Make sure it's clean. Go ahead and set that up in there. We're now going to add 3.8 quarts of oil to this particular vehicle, making sure you use the appropriate oil recommended from the manufacturer. Go ahead and remove that funnel. Place that cap on there. Thread that down, make sure that it's good and snug. Go ahead and remove your rags if you have any down here. Your next step is hop into the vehicle. You wanna go ahead and start it up. Let it run for about 30 seconds and shut it down. Come on back underneath the hood here. Grab that oil dipstick. You're gonna pull this out. You wanna give this another wipe because you will have some oil splashed onto the dipstick. You're going to reinsert it. And pull it back out. And what you want to look for is that the oil level is right at the top of our cross hatch area. And on our vehicle, it is. So we're at our perfect level. Go ahead and reinstall that dipstick. Fully seat that. You're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. 
Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.